Hi, I'm Rich Hawkins. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in the Stedman Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. And uh, we do a lot of sports medicine work, a lot of reconstructive surgery in the shoulder. And uh, we have a great research foundation on the go. I grew up in London, Ontario in Canada and uh, did all my high school years there and university years there. I went to university the decade of the 60s. That's a long time ago, isn't it? At any rate, I, I did medical school there and then I subsequent to that did a knee fellowship for a year and I did a shoulder fellowship and a spine fellowship. So I'd had the privilege of doing a lot of training and then I came back to Canada, the University of Western Ontario in 1976 and started practice. That's where I developed my shoulder interest along with sports medicine and knee and elbow work and we did that for many years. Then the opportunity came uh, to go to Vail, Colorado. I had become full professor in London and I would had a chance to publish a lot of papers, do a lot of research, all of which excited me very much and uh, we had the opportunity to go to Colorado. So in 1990, transplanted to Colorado with Dr. Stedman, set up the Stedman Hawkins Clinic, of which we are now here. And then the opportunity six years ago came to come here, uh, which we sort of took that opportunity and here we are in the wonderful community of Greenville and upper state South Carolina. I, I love sports. I, in fact, I wouldn't be a doctor without having played sports. I uh, played high school sports, I played college, I played football in college and basketball, freshman ball. I played all kinds of individual sports. I went on and played semi-pro football up in Canada when I was in uh, freshman in college and I played university ball for four years. Then I came back and played semi-pro ball and we got paid a hundred dollars a game. I just love sports even to this day. Now I got a bad knee, got a bad back, can't compete at tennis anymore, can't play football anymore. I might be able to beat my kids at one-on-one on basketball. I'm not sure, maybe with my knee brace. But, but yeah, I, I still love sports. Now it's sort of relegated to the golf course, which is a great game, a little frustrating. We love athletes, love looking after them. We've had the chance of looking after teams over the years. I've been, still am actually team doctor for the Broncos and the Rockies and baseball. And that's been very exciting in life. I've trained 175 doctors worldwide that come to spend a year with us and we teach them what we do. They teach us too, of course, but, but they go out to the world and spread that. We have many disciples, you know, nationally, internationally that, that uh, follow the, our principles. Uh, and we take the, what we do in research and educate people about it and then we apply those principles to patient care so that we know about how to treat certain problems with the shoulder that comes out of joint because we help develop techniques we know how to repair rotator cuffs in the shoulder because we help develop those techniques and we've done research on them to help patients know that maybe we can do a pretty effective job. So I'm married and three children. My wife Susan has been my biggest supporter and maybe fan if I might say over the years and we've been uh, best buddies forever and seem to stick it out. We just had our 45th wedding anniversary. Very exciting in France. We have three children, two girls and a boy. Two girls teach and coach. My young son's in the entertainment business, writing and trying to find his way, and uh, is very talented. So we're cheering for him to win an Academy Award one day. My girls are married to teachers also, so we have an opportunity as a family to get together frequently in teaching holidays. March break, we go away every year. Christmas, we get together for a week or two every year. Summertime, we get together for a week almost every year. So we have a lot of opportunities, family, to get together. And now grandchildren, five of them, just went to my oldest girls, oldest boys, graduation from elementary school to high school. And the kid's a dream. He's a great athlete and wants to initially play pro hockey, but realized maybe that's not in the cards. So in his you know, thing on the screen, they say, what are you going to be? at his graduation, he's going to be an Olympic runner and an orthopedic surgeon. He may make it, he's a really good runner and he's awfully bright. I'd like my legacy to be one of uh, uh, teaching, educating and mentoring young surgeons and families because part of what we do is, is not just surgery teaching and patient management, it's, it's life's lessons. I learn a lot, I'm, I'm a great student, I love to learn. And in order to be a good teacher, you have to be a good learner. And I think that I would rather my legacy be attached to those that I've taught, uh, the way I've educated people. Then comes the issue of patient care because I've 
had a tremendous relationship over the years with my patients and looking after them. I love looking after patients. And it doesn't matter to me whether they're the kid down the street or a professional athlete or a nice lady who needs a new shoulder. Uh, the relationships are all very similar. And, and, and reaching out and enjoying these patients and them enjoying us uh, is, is part of an, a, a legacy that we like to leave. Stebman Hawkins is a brand that's been developed over the years through patient care, good research and education, affiliation and association with other people that we work with, the therapy people that work hand in glove with us, the performance people and nutrition people that help us with what we do so that it's a comprehensive package of, of patient care. It's a comprehensive package of research and education. They, they all go together and you know it's, it's hard to put your finger on exactly what is Stedman Hawkins uh, when you're there and you experience it, you know it. Um, when I uh, am around it, I understand what it is. It, it's, it's very hard to define other than I think that it's a, a pursuit of excellence and a, a pursuit of great patient care. And, and we do that through research and education with a lot of help, with a lot of other individuals and a lot of other teams.